Nerds wanted their own computers right from the beginning, but it took a technological breakthrough to make that possible. This is it, the chip, the microprocessor. This is what allows you to have a mainframe computer on your desk. In the 1950s, mainframes were as big as this garage, and that's because they were filled with thousands of these vacuum tubes or valves. Eventually, the valves were made much smaller and replaced with transistors, still too big, however, to make a computer that could fit on your desk. What that took was further miniaturization. Here we have a single piece of silicon etched with thousands of transistors. This microprocessor holds more than a million transistors, and that's the secret of the personal computer. And that's why they call it Silicon Valley, not Computer Valley. These are the people who invented the microprocessor, Intel. Intel was started 28 years ago by a handful of guys after a row with their old boss. Their microprocessors today power 85% of the world's computers. Intel not only invented the chip, they are responsible for the laid-back Silicon Valley working style. Everyone was on a first-name basis. There were no reserved parking places, no offices, only cubicles. It's still true today. Here's the chairman's cubicle. Knock, knock. Yeah. I, I, I knocked on the door, but there's yeah. no door. <laughs> Gordon Moore is one of the Intel founders uh, worth three billion dollars. Yeah, with money like that, I'd have a door. In a business like this, uh, the people with the power are the ones that have the understanding of what's going on, not necessarily the ones on top. It's very important that those people that have the knowledge uh, are the ones that make the decisions. So uh, we set up something where everyone who had the knowledge had an equal say in what was going on. Intel's microprocessors kept getting more powerful. They soon had enough horsepower to run a whole computer. Only Intel didn't appreciate the brilliance of their own product, seeing it as useful mainly for calculators or traffic lights. Intel had all the elements necessary to invent the PC business, but they just didn't get it. Looking back, I, I know of one opportunity where an engineer came to me with an idea for uh, a computer that would be used in the home. Of course, it wasn't yet called a personal computer. And uh, while he felt very strongly about it, the only example of what it was good for that he could come up with was the housewife who would keep her recipes on it. And I couldn't imagine my wife with her recipes on a computer in the kitchen. It just didn't seem like it had any practical application at all, so Intel didn't pursue that idea. 